This is Leanne Presents. I'm Leanne and that's Alan. We're here today with another snack surprise unboxing. A final. A final. Snack surprise <laughs> unboxing. Now a quick PSA. This isn't a sponsored video. It's not. Um, we're not endorsed <laughs> by Snack Surprise and we are not recommending <laughs> Snack Surprise. We're just unboxing it to show you what's in it and to give our honest feedback. If anything, we are trying the snacks from different countries and recommending you try snacks from different countries. Yeah. We don't endorse the Snack Surprise product as it stands today because they are... They're struggling. They are struggling. We don't know the whole story, no. but what we think no. is that they've probably got more popular than they expected, quicker than they expected, <laughs> and they can't handle the demand and it's caused a load of problems. Um, I know we had a couple of dislikes on our last Snack Surprise video and a couple of the comments were about how Snack Surprise is a bad company, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we just want to say, if you dislike Snack Surprise, doesn't mean you dislike us. Mm -hmm. Don't dislike um, us. Don't don't hate the, the, the snack eaters. <laughs> hate the snack providers. Yeah. If you hate snack surprise, <laughs> like this video. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so, Hashtag yeah. down with snack surprise. Um, so we, we had enough of snack surprises, antics and the problems. So we, we had enough surprises had from enough snack surprises. surprise. <laughs> so we have cancelled our subscription and this is the last box <coughs> that we paid for and we've got it, which is amazing. Amazingly. Um, <laughs> crazy. So this is the June snack surprise box. We are in July. We're literally one day normal. off the middle of the month. So. Yeah, but I mean, that's normal for snack surprise at the moment. Um, so yeah, we managed to cancel our subscription. I know people have been having trouble. We did it by emailing them and basically mm. telling them you need to cancel our subscription because it's impossible to do it on the website. They, was it um, they state that there's a cancel subscription button already at your subscription there's button? There's not. Yeah. There's absolutely not. To be fair I to tried them, it on three different browsers on two different devices. <laughs> it's like, no. There just isn't there. But to be fair to them, the, my <laughs> emails that they responded to the quickest were the cancellation ones and they did it and no money was taken out of my account. They were probably well, so. worried about... Uh, lawsuits and stuff and being like well we're coming down on you with the force of the theory of the the, the justice system yeah. and yeah so email if you're not sure what to do but yeah anyway we are gonna open this <laughs> yeah. and review the snacks inside because mm -hmm. we've got it so we got a good country for last <laughs> yeah. i kind of wanna i, I kind of hope maybe japan the box is just full imagine. of poop and they're like oh, imagine. you're leaving you want to cancel <laughs> fine <laughs> here's your surprise you <laughs> snacks Oof. And let's hope whatever drink doesn't fizz up all over us this time. Well, for us, the table, the other table, the, the cameras, the floor, the chair. It was sticky. Ready? Jumbo. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. That's a bit closer than Japan. Run! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Got a, a road so power, maybe. So we get some croissants, some, <laughs> some bagels, maybe. Some baguettes. I don't, think, I don't think bagels bagel? are French. Are they not? I don't know. I think they're American. Oh, okay. Don't know. Let us know in the comments. All right. <clears throat> oh, there's not a word search. No word search or crossword. It's a maze. It's amazing. Give me a number between one and 12. Uh, let's go, I don't know, high numbers go 12. Ooh. <laughs> the most expensive <clears throat> bottle of wine was produced in France, obviously. Of course. As well as its food, France is also famous for producing some of the best wines in the world, the most expensive of which was a 73-year-old bottle of French Burgundy sold at auction for a whopping $558,000. Damn. I don't like wine. Damn. That seems silly for any good wine. Wow. Well, like, even the best wine, you wouldn't pay that's, that much. Uh, oh. That's a bit much. Cool. So, mm. then we got our snack pages, which I'm going to skip over so I get the surprise. French make-at-home recipe. French... I was expecting French fries, not going to lie. French <laughs> onion soup. Oh, okay. And crepes. Bit of a cop-out. Yeah, it's a bit of a cheap cop-out. Crepes. Cop -out. Yeah. They're French. Okay. Over to the snack master. Let's see what we've got. I do kind of like, I can't remember these being on there before, but that's quite a nice little. Yeah, fancy yeah. little flourish on cool. the page. Okie dokie. So, mini box first. Yeah. Yes. Okay, right, hold on. I'm not even going to go into the types of boxes so much because uh, we're not recommending that. you get it. I'm going to put some of the larger items over here a sec so I can get yeah. a little run inside the box. So, th there's loads of subscription boxes out there. 
Um, probably after we've done this, we'll end up trying to find some other <coughs> Snack Surprise type yeah. subscription box that delivers to the UK that does a similar thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we can like, the next one of these similar videos will, will show you that. Yeah, we're not sure how long that will be just yet. Yeah. Um, Might have a little yeah. a little snack break while yeah. we finish this and the, the May box that we still haven't finished because yeah. we only got it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, if that. <laughs> All right, um, let's do but then it. we might be able to look, look, do a lot more board game content yeah. and stuff. So anyway, so first off, best of Berlin crackers, B E L I N, not Berlin as in Germany. France's favorite crackers brand. This box gives you a selection of delicious Berlin crackers, crisp and delicately baked. Mm. In a bright pink box. Mm, that is a very bright pink box. Okay, the fun shapes. We have flavors <coughs> in them. <coughs> Thank you. Scissors are coming out early, guys. We've got them. We're going to start as we mean to go on. Dropping <laughs> stuff all over the floor. Probably. <laughs> okay. I'm getting mini Cheddar's vibes. They're broken, but this is fine. Try. In the way the, the Royal Mail service kind of... Mm. So I think different so like shapes have different... Flavors. It's like a Batman mask. This one looks like it's got like poppy seeds in it. Hmm. Definitely poppy seeds. Definitely different flavors. I'm afraid that the one, two, three, four, five, six Excellent. hexagon. That's more mini cheddar-y. I think there's mm. cheese to it. The very light. That one is very, very cheddar-y. Let me show the shape of it. <clears throat> it looks like like the Robin mask, the bat like Batman and Robin. Mm. It looks like Robin's mask. Mm. They're like they're really light. Mm. They are very light, very crisp, very very tasty though. Yeah, there's but there's enough bit... flavour to them mm. without being like they're not overwhelming, but they're also not bland. Yeah, there is obviously that dryness to it because they are crackers. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Nice, good start. Okay, next up, Haribo Dragabus. <gasps> Ooh. Haribo Dragobus are delicious fruit flavoured sweet treats loved by both kids and adults. Haribo! <coughs> they look like jelly beans, but like round Circular. instead of bean yeah. shaped. Vegetarian. It's nice to know that your sweets don't eat meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh oh, I think Rags just showed some rustling of packets. Mmm. They're basically jelly beans. Just, just smaller. Ooh, tasty. Mm. Ooh. That's very flavoury. Mm. Flavoury? Very flavoury. <laughs> mm. mm. mm -hmm. I haven't seen these in the UK. No. The Haribo versions. That's, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, cool. I find it really <clears> hard <throat> to get good jelly beans these days. They're yeah. either like weird flavours or like a little too sweet. Those are good. Okay. You can't go wrong with Harry Bow though. Um, is it that? Yes, it is. Hmm. The bot that okay. <clears throat> and thank you. Petit Ecolier. This simple yet indulgent pocket biscuit combines L use L, L use crunchy butter biscuit mm -hmm. with delicious milk chocolate. It's the perfect snack to take with you on the go. I think LU is the brand. <clears throat> oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But then it tripped me out because that's a silver packet, but mm. the picture in the book is a box. Because it's probably a multi-pack <clears throat> thing. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I think I've had something similar to these before. Oh, wow. Wow. Let me show that because that's pretty cool. Is it the same on that one? Same print? Yep, same yeah. print. Got a fun person on it. Oh, yeah. it's a thick layer of chocolate. Should we just share one, do you think? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're quite big. I Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be that. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, that's very good. Mm. The balance on that is perfect. But it's hard to go wrong with <laughs> a good biscuit with a slab of chocolate tucked on it. But then you might have not enough chocolate or too much chocolate as soon as the biscuit or there's not enough chocolate and the biscuit's too dry, but that's just not. That's 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 just 
Perfect. It's actually very good chocolate. Mm, it is. Mm -hmm. Milky and smooth. And the biscuit's good. Yeah, nice. Uh, oh. They're going good. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> that is whatever else you can't find. That's next. Oh. Madeleine Chocolat. St. Michael brings you these in... St. Michael. Actual St. Michael brings us these. Ooh. He's the one that delivered them this morning. Um, St. <laughs> Michael brings you these indulgent chocolate-coated madelines. They taste just like homemade. They, they, that, that's a really weird sentence. They taste just like homemade. This one looks a little melty. <clears throat> no surprise in this heat. It's a very warm in the UK at the mm -hmm. moment. Don't like it. Don't like it. Make it go away. Okay, it's not too much. <clears throat> right. hmm. No, I think it's just the plastic. Yeah, it's nice. Quite a soft cake. Mm. Madeleine should be very light and fluffy. I think they could could do with more chocolate, I think. Yeah. But that reminds me of something. I can't think what. Cakes. <laughs> no, this one's specific, but I can't think what it is. It's nice though. Mm. It's nice. quite a sort of vanilla y hint mm. to it. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. <clears throat> there well. is two of these, but obviously we'll, we'll just share the one. Mm-hmm. For the next one. Mm, that looks like fish. Okay. Um, yeah. Caramba. Ah, nice. Caramel caramba is a traditional French treat and brings back childhood memories for many. These soft and chewy sticks have a sweet caramel taste. Mm. <clears throat> He's got a little winky face. <clears throat> little winky face. <laughs> yeah, this one does as well. I'm sure they used oh, to I have something you. like this previous in the UK years and years ago when I was a child. I vaguely mm. remember something similar to these. I know. I've had like fruity <clears throat> versions of it. Ooh. That's the way that whenever you're going for a like a bit of a snack, you're going for the kill. Mm-hmm. It's like, do you like Jaws? Ooh, nice. Oh, no. You would leave me with that. Ah, oh, Leanne. Mm. That's really good. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. The packet tore. I got it. Mm. I tried on a dish, I think. Mm-hmm. Same. Yeah, this it's, reminds me of something I used to have as a child. Mm -hmm. It gets stuck in your teeth, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a very rich caramel, like um, like dark. Maybe the dark sugar rather mm. than a regular sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right with this. It's so stuck. <clears throat> it's tasty. It's not convenient. You had a much bigger bit than me as well, so that's on you. Maybe you shouldn't go in like a bullet at a chan shop. you got to get a big enough bit <laughs> to appreciate the flavour. Well, you wouldn't want to start eating one of those and then like get called into a Zoom call or something. Or bump into a friend on the street, Blake. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like we get into that. Was it ASMR? <laughs> it? Um, cool. So that was everything from the mini box. Only five items mm. in this mini box. It was nice though. It was a good, a solid box, mm. that. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not bad. Um, so next up, we got the original box. <clears throat> First up, Fratel Gouai Bacon. I don't know if I've said that word right. I don't think I have. But, goat? Oh, well. I just kind of said goat, goat, but that just sounds like a goat. I don't know, it kind of looks like gout to me, but mm. I didn't want to say gout. But now I've said gout three times on this episode. So, <laughs> Calling all bacon lovers. Mm -hmm. These Lay's bacon-flavoured chips are the ultimate savoury snack that'll have you going in for more. They look good on the packet. <laughs> Making a mess. What else is new? So are they, do they look like bacon rashers or are they... They look like salt and vinegar sticks. Oh, that I was not expecting. I mean, it does show on the, on the packet, but I didn't really see that, so... Okay. It's got that strong bacon flavour. It does. It smells like bacon rashers. Mmm, tastes like bacon rashers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Mm. It's got a nice texture to it. Yeah. Crisp, you might say. Send help. 
I get the feeling the flavor will build with these. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'd probably get part way down and be like, no these, more. But these kind of remind me of a mix between the salt and vinegar chip sticks you might get in a supermarket, mm. not giving brand labels of that sense, and then like French fries. Yes. Like, like a bit more solid. Aren't yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a bit of a, a mix between those. Mm. It's like nice. someone's DNA spliced those crisps mm -hmm. together, you know. <laughs> I think they're quite moorish. Yeah. I kind of want more. That's why I kind of put them <laughs> over there to stop you. Anyway. Cool. Next up, these will be moorish for you. Whoa. Haribo oh, Orangina so. Pick. This Haribo mix combines the tasty flavors of France's favorite orange soda and classic sweet Haribo. Mm -hmm. So, Orangina. Orangina. I think I've had Orangina before. I've not had it in years. Basically, <clears throat> just fizzy orange juice, though. Exactly, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I guess that would kind of appeals to, to the youngsters though, isn't it? The kids. Drink your orange juice, it's like pop. There's different colours as well. There's a more reddish one. Oh, they're quite chunky as well. Okay. It's a little bottle. Oh. Mm. That's a good smell. Mm. It is citrusy. a slight fizz to it with the... Yeah, I'm done. Bye. No! <laughs> it was already tasty. Mm, those are really good. So the sugar gives the fizz element <clears throat> that you get with Orangina. Yeah. And it's a really nice mm -hmm. um, citrusy flavour from the sweet itself. Yeah. It's really nice. It's good not texture. overpowering. And, this, and even though there's a lot of sugar on that, it doesn't try and overpower it like mm. some of the uh, the tang, tang plastics, is it? Well, they can be a bit... Ooh. I love tank plastic, though. <laughs> yeah, but they can be a bit much at times mm -hmm. if there's too much on there, but this isn't... The ones that like, we just had weren't like that, so... You know what, Harry Bo? I know you're watching. <clears throat> Bring some of these things over to the UK, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I would buy a lot of those. She would. And the little jelly bean thingies. She would. And I know there's more. There's more sweets that they're holding holding out on us. There's more. Come on, Harry Bo. It's like Kit Come Kat on. and all those flavors in Japan. I know. <laughs> Damn you, Kit Kat. We will buy it. <laughs> Give it to us. <laughs> <coughs> all right, Liam Neeson. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Chamonix à l'orange. Made using the same 100-year-old recipe, the Chamonix, Chamon Chamonix, Chamonix cake mm -hmm. is filled with orange marmalade. Marmalade. It's the perfect sweet cake. Paddington would be happy with this. They look strange. They look crushed. I'm going to say they do look a bit uh, battered, shall we say. Worst but, for wear. <clears throat> but that shouldn't affect the flavour. So let's give it a go. Ooh, static. Hmm? That bit of plastic with a bit static is like sticking, doesn't it? A little sticky. It's got like a hard sugary shell around it. It kind of looks like a bun. <laughs> like a bread bun. It has a familiar smell to it. Mm, I've smelled that before. Hmm. Maybe like toasted tea cakes. Maybe. It's a hundred year old recipe, so let's hope it doesn't taste like it's a hundred years old. Mm. Yeah. That is interesting. It's mm. not a cakey texture. No. It's more sticky. <clears throat> um, the marmalade is quite it's, It looks like they've coated it in sugar. And kind of semi crystallized the bottom to, to try mm. and hold hold it together. Mm -hmm. That's nice though. It is a bit dry. I think there could have been a bit more marmalade. Yeah, so the marmalade is it's a very thick marmalade. Um, obviously to hold it together, you don't want it sloppy, mm. but tasty. You definitely get that orange flavor. You definitely get the sugar on top, the hard sugar as well. Mm. Mm, lots mm. of citrus from it's pretty, France. Pretty good. I'll have the other one. It's fine. <clears throat> I did say it was pretty good. I love the other one. Uh, okay. Um, another one of these that doesn't look anything like the uh, <laughs> thing. La Napolitaine. Napolitaine? Napolitaine. These delicious soft cakes from Lou. I'm going to say Lou because that's the brand. Uh, mm -hmm. Bring you the classic Neapolitaine flavour. I'm having trouble with that word. Neapolitan. Mm. Like the ice cream. Is, that's not how it's spelled on the ice cream over here, though. No, that's got an E missing. See? That's what's throwing me, I think. I think that's what's throwing me. <clears throat> okay, let's see what it is. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's another Aww. two of those caramel bars. Yes. I'm just trying to find the next Aww. item, which is that one. Let me show this off, because you get nothing from that packet. So you got an no. icing topping <laughs> with sprinkles. <coughs> And there's three layers of cake. Um, there's a chocolate in the middle and the vanilla, maybe, outside. And there's doesn't a little bit of chocolatey filling to doesn't, hold them together. It doesn't say what flavour it is, so... It smells like chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. Not the best cake. Also not the worst. Not the worst, <laughs> but it's a bit, it's not quite light and fluffy like I was hoping no, it would it's be. it's a bit more. It's a bit denser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's probably the kind of cake, though, because it's a quite compressed. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably, like, made in long rolls and then, and then just sliced. chopped up. Mm, yeah. Um, but, I mean, you can't go wrong with a very thin layer of icing on the top and chocolate sprinkles. Mm, yeah, that's that's just like the... The icing on the cake. You you walked right into that one. That is not my fault. Not my fault. I'm glad this is the last one. <laughs> um, okay, next up. Lou Granny. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that's what it says. Exactly, says Granny. An exquisite French cereal bar containing delicious chocolate pieces, corn, rice, rice flour, Oat cake, oat flakes, oh my word, <laughs> oat flakes, wheat flour, and malted rye flakes. A perfect way to start your day. So it's full of greens. Mm. Mm -hmm. So is it, do you think it's granny as in granola kind of? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Rather than grandmother. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm. It smells healthy. <clears throat> it smells like brown bread. Spoiler alert, Leanne doesn't like brown bread. Yeah. It's just got chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. I disagree. <laughs> it's dark, dark chocolate. Here he is. I mean... Yeah, it's dark. Mm -hmm. mm, it's nice, I like that. I'm a bit indifferent, I think. Okay. I've had better cereal bars. That's probably one for me, though. Um, it's a bit, and I don't get enough flavour from it for mm. me. It's a bit meh. I could, I could hardly tell there's chocolate on it. I know it's dark chocolate, but mm. maybe I just got a bit of the dignity. Maybe. Enough. I mean, yeah, there's, there's plenty of it, so if mm. you want to try another little bit after, that's fine. But, um, yeah. yeah, I quite like that. That's okay. quite nice. I like the texture of it as well. You can have that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Next up, then, is the last item in the original box. It is the drink. I'm worried. Gently. Gently. I'm gonna show it to the camera. <laughs> Ginny lemon. This kind of Ginny lemon soda is the perfect refreshing drink to enjoy on a hot summer's day. Mm. We will see, snack surprise. We will see. It is a hot summer's day. Because it is a hot summer's day today. We're safe, we're safe. <laughs> I was having PTSD or some mm. flashbacks to last month. Cans are even worse because you can't even hold the lid on no. to stop it. If it's, 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 that's your whole day ruined. Ooh. I can smell the citrusy on that already. That is tart. <laughs> no. It's a legitimate word. I know, I know. Ah, oh, whoa. See? Tart, isn't it? Did I say it was a lemon? Yeah. That's giving me... Oh, wait, hang on. I was thinking more lime vibes, but now I'm really tasting that it. it's like real lemon. Mm. <clears throat> that is a bit um, sharp. I quite like say. it, but... <clears throat> Grapefruit, that's what it's reminding mm. me of, grapefruit. Because it's got that sweetness to it, but that really bitter taste as well. It's got that, it's got a really weird aftertaste to me. Something it just kind of lingers in the back of the mouth. Mm -hmm. but I don't think I like that. It does linger. And it builds. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll probably drink it. It is quite refreshing. You crack on. You crack on. It'll <coughs> take, take some time to get through, I think. Cool. Well, Thanks. that was everything from the original original box. <laughs> Next up, then we have the premium box. So there's a there's obviously quite a few. Uh, Is six, there more Harry Bow in this one? Uh, that would be a spoiler. Aww. Okay. First up, we've got <clears throat> Twix. Oh, 
Quinnut Original Sale, 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 France's favorite nut brand. The salted Twinuts are perfectly salted. We know you won't be able to put these down. Twinuts. <clears throat> it's gonna be Twinuts as in peanuts, right? I'd imagine so. Twinuts. And Sale, I think, is salt, I think. <clears throat> Skizzers. Rags wants these. He heard me say salt. It's a bit chunky. I'm sure you're grabbing it. So. I got him. Plus, Rags is there, so. Yeah. You can be boom. Okay. I'm gonna grab two. A classic. So, sort technically, you've grabbed four, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've I know, there's some sort of. I can mm. grab one. Oh, so small. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That coating gives it a really nice texture. Mm. And they're lightly salted. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I mean, salted, crunchy coated peanuts. They do different flavours. Mm. They've got barbecue, bacon, Mexican, and cheese. Do you want some cheesy nuts? <clears throat> no comment. Those are good. I'm gonna enjoy eating those. Mm. Happy days. Mm. That was good. The coating gets stuck in your teeth a bit though. Not like the toffee. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Next up. Haribo Ooh. Tagada. Ooh. These look fun. Another unique Haribo flavour. These tasty fizzy sweets have a sweet strawberry taste. They look kind of familiar. Mm, they do. Um, I don't know where from, but mm. you are right. They do look familiar. I feel Maybe like they, yeah, I was going to say pick and mix. <clears throat> oh, they smell good. They smell really good. Mm. What's that smell like? That reminds me of something, the smell. Got, someone's up there is going to go strawberries. Yes, I know strawberries, but. It's given me the vibe of like strawberry scented lip gloss. <laughs> I would never know. I've not used it. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. That's almost that's, marshmallow. -y. That's softer than I expected. It's not quite marshmallow -y, but almost. No. Didn't it say they were fizzy? Yeah. Not getting texture. fizz. It's. It's got that Ooh, texture right. of the fizziness. You get a little bit of it mm. as the sugar sort of reaches the tongue a bit more. Not very fizzy. No. Smells better than it tastes. Yeah, I don't really get much of a strawberry taste mm. from that. Just a sweet taste. But I'd still buy them and eat them all day if I could. She would. <laughs> nice, good. Yay, Haribo. Any more Haribo? Spoilers. We've had Haribo in each of the three boxes. <laughs> Lulu Lo Lorison. Lulu brings its indulgent chocolate bear a flavorful soft cake rich in milk and made with the highest quality ingredients. Nice. I don't quite know why there's a hyphen there. That's really weird. Typos? Yeah, I think so. A little bear. That, that threw me off for a minute, I'm not going to lie. It's a chocolate bear. We had a chocolate monkey, a cake monkey in the last one, and a cake bear in this one. I'm pulling out so we can show him. This has to be that. Okay. If I can without tearing his head off. <coughs> I think I'm gonna tear his head off. <coughs> Just put the packet maybe. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's kind of scary looking. What? Is it uh, meant to have a face? Um, it sort of has dents where his eyes might be. It is kind of creepy. <coughs> it's missing you. I feel like he's meant to have uh, more of a defined face than that. Oh. Oh, it's filled with Ooh, chocolate. Straight in, look at that. Mmm. He just put his whole head off. Mm -hmm. I need more. Well, half his head. Mmm. Because you tore first of all. It's well filled. Mmm. Cake could be more <clears throat> moist, yeah. I think. That's a bit dry. Um, the chocolate doesn't really moisten it up either because I think that disappears quite quickly. Yeah, the chocolate sort of almost sticky mm. so in a way adds to the dryness instead of countering it yeah um they could have gone in <clears throat> i don't know slightly That's more syrupy mm. but it's bear shaped mm. mostly it's not too bad it's not bad it's not the worst thing i've ever had but i definitely wouldn't give it to a child because it might be traumatized by the lack of a face 
I think it's a Friday gone wrong, right? The picture in the book <coughs> makes me think it should have had a proper yeah. face. It probably was that, and it's mm. squished. It's crushed because it's, it's not in a box, it's just a packet. Yeah, quite possibly. <clears throat> a lot of the stuff in this has been fairly heavy, so. Yeah. Okay, next up Ooh. mystery packet. It's just a packet. This could be um, because of deduction <laughs> and process of elimination. I've deduced that this is the Brossard Brownie. The Brossard Brownie combines an intense chocolate flavor with crunchy hazelnuts to make the perfect brownie. Chocolate lovers will go crazy for this. Mm. It <clears> doesn't <throat> look anything like the picture in the packet. But the picture also does say times two. Oh, okay, so, so it would have had two squares in it. Yes, I believe so. That, that's okay. my belief, yeah. That definitely looks like chocolate brownie. <laughs> Just completely something completely different. Like. <laughs> Ooh, sticky. Bit melty. Mm, it's probably the heat, isn't it? Ooh. That's nice. That's weird. <laughs> I don't expect to hit a hard bit. Oh, it's got chocolate chips in it. It's the nuts. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the nuts. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any nuts, I've just got chocolate. Um, it's the hazelnuts. It's not as dry as I expected. Sometimes brownies can be really dense and heavy, but there's a lot of a lot of chocolate in there mm. as well. Mm -hmm. But because of the heat, I think it's melted. Yeah. So it's gone really moist. Mm -hmm. mm. It's quite nice. I think if I'd thought that the nuts were there and they then caught me off guard, I would have been like, oh, okay, no, that's fine. Yeah. But I think just just biting in and crunch. Wait, what? <laughs> something gone wrong somewhere? Yeah, that, you, that you kind don't of want me a mystery bit. crunches in no. your food, do mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. But it does say nuts in the book. It does, but my brain's kind of baked in this heat, so. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up. Mm -hmm. More Lou stuff. Cool, Lou Petit Coeur. Coeur. I'm so sorry for anyone who's French <laughs> and watching this. These little heart-shaped chocolate cookies combine Belgian chocolate, a silky smooth filling, and crunchy almonds for the perfect flavor. Mm. Now, you would have thought they would try and maybe use French chocolate on a Belgian chocolate, right? But Belgian chocolate's better. But if I wanted Belgian chocolate, I would have got a Belgian box from Snack Surprise. Well, then where are the French men to get the chocolate from? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's reputable firms out there in France making their own chocolate. Oh, they're <laughs> thicker than I expected them to be. <clears throat> oh. Cute. I kind of expect, looking at that box, it looks like it's going the other way. Like a jammy dodger kind of thing. Oh, yeah. But they actually kind of protrude outwards a little bit more. Sure. Now that, they smell like those, um, is it nice biscuits? They kind of smell like that. A bit. I'm getting a savoury smell. Like cheese crackers. <laughs> Whoa. What the? Mm. That's wild. It's very light. Um... I was expecting a biscuit. That's more like pastry. Um, yeah, what was those things we had earlier? Um, mm. The crackers. But like, yeah. if you took a cracker and like forced it to go thicker, that's kind of wow. That's it's almost wafery mm. biscuit. Oh my word, that's amazing. Um, wow. What were the flavors? Chocolate, almonds. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm getting almonds so much. That could just be the texture. <clears throat> If the biscuit is kind of savoury though, isn't it? A little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's, it's definitely not a sweetened more. Biscuit. No, it's definitely like again. The memory that's was reminding me of one of the crackers as well. Mm. So it's the texture and maybe part of the flavouring, but the chocolate is so sweet it just kind of holds it all together. Mm -hmm. You obviously got the sprinkling of sugar on top. Oh my word, that's amazing. You're gonna be mad at me. What have you done? I opened the wrong side of the box. It's fine. I'll eat them all after. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> after that. Mm. Nice. Okay. Right, okay, this is where it's going to get a bit. Oh, lucky dipish, I think. <laughs> so they've got two of each. Oh, it's a selection of uh, hard boils. Arlequin, Michoko, and Batner. A collection of some of France's favorite small rat sweets, perfect for sharing with loved ones. Okay, I get the feeling the black one's going to be licorice. Potentially, so I can try one of those if you want. I ain't going anywhere near licorice. I don't like licorice. I think they're quite soft. I'd imagine soft. this is a mint. And that's probably no, a... that doesn't probably a mint. This one is... No, I don't know. Right, I'm having one of these. That smells quite sweet. You pick one of the others. 
We'll go for the, the tigery looking this one. This is Michoko. Oh, this one is Batna. It's actually chocolate. It's like toffee. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I don't dark know what's chocolate? inside. It smells like dark chocolate. That smells almost coffee like. Toffee. Dark chocolate coated toffee. Which is actually a weird combination. That actually, I think that's licorice. What? It's got a licorice taste to it. That's definitely licorice. Oh, you lost the lucky dip. You okay? <laughs> How? Why? <laughs> no. It doesn't look like licorice. Taste it. It's definitely licorice. It definitely smells like licorice. <sighs> Why me? That's definitely hard boiled. That's hard boiled, so I don't think we should entertain that one right now. You might as well finish the licorice off. Let me finish this first. Oh, okay. Oh, is it like really soft or chewy caramel? Chewy caramel. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a strange combination with dark chocolate, though. <clears throat> It's a very, <coughs> it's very rich dark chocolate. Right. So it's, I don't know, it's, my mouth doesn't quite know what's happening. <laughs> you yeah. very sweet toffee. Mine didn't either. I didn't expect that thing to be, oh, that's ridiculous. So upset about that. Definitely licorice. I'm trying to figure out if there's a different flavour as well. It's probably sort of licorice toffee mm. or something because yeah. it doesn't look like licorice. I'm getting toffee as well. You're lucky that wasn't just plain licorice though. It would have been <laughs> black and I would have been like, nope. Mm. Uh. Okay, not bad. And we'll try the um, hard boils at some point. Damn you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next up, we've got Lay's Cheeseburger Chips. Yes, you read it right. Lay's Cheeseburger Chips. These were one of our favorites. The perfect combination of Lay's crunchy crisps with the delicious cheeseburger flavor. Right. If you're going to say something else in the book is chips, you can't use crisps at the same time on this one. Yeah. You have to remain consistent, right? Yeah. That's, it's a UK company. That's so, call on crisps. Mm -hmm. Smells like... Pickles. It's, yeah. It kind of smells like pickled onion flavor crisps. I don't like oh, pickles in burgers. That's what it smells like. Pickles from burgers. Ooh, I don't think you're going to like these. Pickles and mustard. Is a strong one? There's mustard mm. in it too, isn't there? Mm. But the pickle for me outweighs the mustard, so I'm mm. I'm a fan of those. I like those. Not getting cheese. No. Not getting meat. I definitely wouldn't say cheeseburger. Uh-uh. I would mm -hmm. say pickles and mustard. <laughs> 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 that one is not a winner. I mean, it's not bad enough that I would spit it out. But I wouldn't choose to eat them. As you can see from our empty bowl. Gotta have a bowl just in case. You've gotta have a spit bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. <coughs> Meh. Mm. Okay. Meh. Um, did you want to go down the page or? We always go. Okay, just across. checking. This is the last one. Just checking. That's right. weirdly laid out, though. I know. Have we been doing it wrong this whole time? No. There's two less items in this box. But so that one should be over there. Yeah, I know. Luti Koala. Aww. Since 1968, France has loved this mouth-watering marriage of extra soft marshmallows <gasps> and a delicious coating of melted cho milk Ooh. chocolate. That sounds good. I feel like we got a lot of sweets in this mm. one. Because the last, the last box, one we did. We hardly had any yeah. sweets. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Because I was quite disappointed. <laughs> kind of balances it out. Are these koala shaped? Uh, they look like they might have some sort of shape to them. It's less scary than the it's bear. It's more like a teddy bear than a koala. It's more like a bear than the bear was. Yeah. It's got a weird, weird eye though. Yours looks a little bit better. My nose this looks... eye looks like he's popping out. <laughs> <laughs> More scary creatures. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It's quite an, an elasticated marshmallow. Mmm. 
Maybe too much gelatin. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, again, this reminds me of something I used to have as a child. And I can't remember what it is. I'm getting some nostalgia from it too, but I don't know what from. Mm, that's good though. Mm -hmm. Milk chocolate, good. Just the right amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marshmallow is lightly vanilla. Mm -hmm. And very soft. Mm. And mm -hmm. squishy. Mm -hmm. That's and good. koala shaped. It's a winner. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> of course, you can't have a French box without a form of crepe. <laughs> Gavotte's crepe dentale. Dent dentale, dentale. Enjoy these delicious, crispy, batter free crepes from Gavotte's crepe dentale l'authentique. This is France's favorite ready made crepes. Batter free. What do you make crepes with if you don't use batter? Hang on, I think we're having a glitch here. Is it glitch in the matrix? Are you okay? Crepes you make by making a batter. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading what the book says. Does it mean butter free? <coughs> Maybe. Because a batter is just a Although mixture. saying that, that looks like a stick of butter, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but that's just one of them. Good grief. They're Wait, hang on. Tired. Okay, go packets. <laughs> packets of packets. We're saving the environment, guys. You have less <coughs> packaging. Something about ecosystems and environments. It's, ooh, it's a fancy fancy gold foil package. Like I'm unwrapping a cigar. Since 1920. Oops. Oh, a crispy. Ooh, wow. You just got that all in the box. Okay. You just got that all on you. <laughs> You got crepe on you. <laughs> Those are pretty tasty. <coughs> but they're batter free. But they're not butter free. I can taste the butter. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's two in a packet. Yeah, there's two in a packet. And you got six in a packet. And then you got two in a packet. Mm. Mm. They're pretty nice. Very light. And there is a buttery flavour to mm. it. It kind of reminds me of cereal. <laughs> yeah. Like if you took a bowl of like... Um... It's like having cornflakes without the milk. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like the better tasting. But then I guess like some like honey nut cornflakes or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. That's nice though, I like that. They're tasty. Mm, that's really nice. Um, I don't know why they're crispy. I've never thought of crepes as being crispy. <clears throat> but Maybe that's because there's no butter. Well, no, no, butter. Uh, no butter. No batter rather. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just really confused by it. It's tasty, but then my so, brain doesn't know how to ingredients. feel. Ingredients. Gluten, ley, which I think is milk, soya. Is that it? Mm hmm Garda Efro e Usec. There's and definitely I, my, sugar My in French it. is definitely not up to Ooh, scratch. There's some English on here. Whee. 24 butter Ooh. crispy crepes. Where do you come from? It's got wheat, flour, sugar, concentrated butter... Lactose and milk protein, salt, barley, malt extract, rising agent. How do you make butter concentrated? Just, just give it a hard math puzzle. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the last one. Um. <laughs> All right, what's the last thing? Last thing is Quadro Pocket. Oh, that sounds amazing. We know you love the Quadro Pocket Praline, a delicious praline filling sandwich between crispy wafers. We're going back to Bulgaria. You know what Isn't I love? It's not all about the wafers. <coughs> but this isn't all about the wafers. <coughs> this is about the praline. It just happens to be in some wafers. <coughs> what's that? Hang on, what's the print on the front? Are they rabbits? It's got or little, they're not rabbits. Oh. They are. Oh, it's hair. Oh, they must be like little drops of. Um, hazelnuts? I think they're hazelnuts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Woo, melty. Even Rags is excited and he just flaked out on the floor. It's just eating praline, 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 but with wafer with it. That's a heavy wrapper. Too much wafer. Oh wow, mm. there's a lot of wafer. It's very misleading. Mm-hmm. Because it's squished out the sides. You mm. expect it to be a very thick layer. 
and from the picture on the front you expect a thick layer and from the description you expect a thick layer <coughs> but not, it's mostly wafer not really found that one I don't oh, know what it is. A low note. I don't know what that is, but there's something about that that's not really ticking all the boxes. You can't. I didn't taste any chocolate. I mm. tasted nuts. I tasted sweetness, but no chocolate. Tasted that there were hazelnuts in mm. it. Tasted the wafer. <coughs> Did not get any hint of chocolate, and it's meant to be chocolate mm. hazelnut. See, I knew I should have gone up. Well, could have ended want, on the koalas. If you want, we can just have another koala. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was mm. the, our last ever snack surprise box. Yep. Some ups and some downs. France. I think I can guess your worst one. If, if I, yeah. If anyone wants to do this, pause the screen now. There we go. Yeah. Come <laughs> on. What's my worst one? Your worst one was the licorice. Damn straight. <clears throat> I think my worst uh. one was <clears throat> the burger chips. What's your best one? What's your favorite? It's a bit harder. The favorite. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in this one. There was a lot of good stuff. <coughs> mm, have you got one? Uh, you need to say yours first, because I asked you first. Ha! But if you've already got one, then you should say it while I'm thinking. <laughs> mm. These blew my mind. These were amazing. Mm -hmm. Even if you did all notice for them. <clears throat> what? I think <coughs> I'm going to go with the Haribo Which Orangina. Oh! Oops. Yes. So they were really flavorful and tasty and nice, mm -hmm. and I like them I very make sure. much. There's only two other red ones in there. I make sure I get one of the red ones to try. Yes, a silly number of red ones. It right really, then. It smells so good. <laughs> so, uh, oh. like we said before, we're <coughs> going to be looking for a different subscription box to give it a go. Got if any you, suggestions? Yeah, give us some suggestions in the in the comments if you like. Um, if you are going to hate on snack surprise. <laughs> I mean, by all means, and have a rant in the comments, but just know that it's not our fault. Don't hate the messengers. <laughs> like I said before, if you hate Snack Surprise, give us a like. If you like Snack Surprise, give us a like. We've tried to be honest and... Yeah, yeah we, we're not, sides, we're not so. biased. We're not going to be like, well, Snack Surprise is the best thing since sliced bread, mm -hmm. because they have some very serious oh, yeah. issues at the moment. But and we're really hopeful that in the future yeah. they get, get stuff together. And it's a shame, because we yeah. could have had more boxes like this with yeah. some really good stuff in there. But we'll look for another subscription and maybe yes. give them some exposure instead. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all right. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's about it. Yep. Thank you so much yep. for watching. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when we drop new videos. Um, we've got and mustard. We've got plenty of content going up. Yep. We try and put something up every week and at least, uh, at least once a week. Um, so yeah, check it out. <coughs> we're on socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our links are in the description below. Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Um, how how do you? find the cheeseburger crisps what do you think of pickles and mustard pickles and mustard <laughs> would you would you eat it no and until next time try some snacks go to france yeah go to france and buy all the snacks buy some snacks and send us some thank you bye, -bye.